Saudi. This is a big. This is a big story. This could have been a. This could have been a one big thing easily. Uh, Saudi Arabia's Neom Green Hydrogen Company has signed deals worth 8.4 billion with financial institutions for the plant it is building in Oxagon, in the kingdom's 500 billion dollar uh, Neom city. The equal joint venture between Aqua Power, Air Products, and Neom is billed as the world's largest green hydrogen production facility. It will integrate up to four gigawatts of solar and wind energy to produce up to 600 tons per day of carbon-free hydrogen by the end of 2026, 2026, in the form of green ammonia. The project is being financed with $6.1 billion of a non-recourse financing from 23 local, regional, international banks and investment companies. Yeah, we've covered the plans for this on the 966 before at least once, but the announcement here was for the full financial close, which is just a huge deal. Okay. I mean, and you just mentioned it, but 23 banks, investment companies, that's a hell of a roadshow. And that's really difficult to get that much buy in. So the financial close is, is huge. What I thought was interesting too, Richard, is, you know, these plans have been in the mix for a while. We've known about it with air products, things like this take you know, months or years to get going and get off the ground. But this isn't just about the financial close happened and that's huge, but construction is already has already begun and is progressing on the site. The CEO of the new company set up to run this um, said, and when this is done, Richard, in 2026, it should produce 600 tons of green hydrogen daily, which is enough to power 20,000 hydrogen buses around the world, it will save 5 million metric tons of carbon dioxide per year. That's a lot. And I also thought this was interesting too. A, a, I think it was a report in Al Arabia, but I may have that wrong. But it cited an is, uh, another report issued by DII Desert Energy and Roland Berger. Berger. I don't know why I went French with that, but um, which estimated that GCC countries can generate up to $200 billion in revenue and create 1 million jobs by 2050 through investing in hydrogen. So. I mean, this is just really cool, but this was like something where I was like, hey, they're going to do green hydrogen with it, which isn't tremendously economically feasible yet. And they're just going to do it and they'll find the customers and they'll get the financing. And so at the time it was like really ambitious. And now it's it, like a theme we've had. This is happening. So this is cool. It is. And this is one of those things that's layered. I, we can't get to it all. We're also mm -hmm. not hydrogen experts. By no. the way, we hope to have a hydrogen expert on shortly. Um, yep which will be fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, so 1.5 billion of this is from the National Development Fund. This is you know, Saudi national, part of the Saudi National Infrastructure Fund. 1.25 billion is the real denominated financing from the Saudi Industrial Development Fund. The remainder, the 6.1 million is from that 23 financial institutions and they're from everywhere. They're from Standard Charter, Abu Dhabi Bank, BNB, uh, Paribas, uh, Saudi British Bank, uh, JP Morgan is in there, um, Korea Development Bank and Credit Agricole. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big spread. And so that's one side of it. I mean, in terms of the, in terms of building a hydrogen market, which a green hydrogen market that, which, you know, is still nascent, you got to have the financing. The other huge element of this agreement is Aqua agreed to a 30 year offtake. So that means there's a market for it. And we just we just heard the uh, energy minister speaking recently about blue hydrogen, basically saying, look, you know, currently it's 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 passing for two hundred and fifty dollar uh, equivalent. You know, it's not competitive right now and we're not going to go into it until it can be competitive. So, you know, again, finding markets is really, really challenging and especially early on, because a lot of a lot of the success of this sector is going to be how these things are structured. Um, you, 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 hydrogen is not, you know, if you do, if you do solar power, if you do wind power, uh, you know, hydroelectric, th those electrons are the same as anything as crude oil, you know, as, as power. I mean, you, you can plug those into the existing infrastructure. Hydrogen is not, it's different form, different shape. It's got to have its own, uh, own mechanism and setup. And so, 
it's also you've got all these steps you have to go through. You have to establish the renewable power, the electro electrolyzer, the storage, transportation, delivery. I mean, it's a complicated thing. And you can't even know if it's going to be marketable until you make this commitment, this leap in essence. Um, and then, again, like other sectors like solar and wind, you know, sort of between innovation and investment, you just drive the price down and it becomes competitive and becomes profitable. But so we're in this area. So anytime you see a hard and fast agreement for financing, a hard and fast agreement for offtake, that's real progress. And it's a big deal to see this. Mm -hmm. Well said.